Hello YouTube, I hope you're doing well. In today's video, we're going to look at exporting our storyboard projects into a video format. What I have up on the screen is the project that you can use from Toon Boom itself. I'm going to use that as my project today as it's pretty complete. It has a lot going on here with audio and animation. I'll go ahead and link below the place where you can download these files. That's part of a tutorial for certification so that you can view this as well. So the first thing that you want to do when you go to export your video is go to file. Export. We'll select movie. The first thing that you're going to want to do is select your destination path. This is going to be the place that you save your file to. You should have a project folder. I would encourage you to save it there. Once you navigate to that folder, I would encourage you to create a folder within that folder called exports so that you can easily find your file. And we'll select that folder. Under export movie format, the two different file types that we would use here in class is the .mov or the .wmv. I would select the .mov just because it's the H.264 format. For our resolution, we want to go ahead and keep this as HD, so we'll keep the 1920 by 1080. Here's something that you might want to pay attention to because I know students were having issues where their project was being exported in different scenes instead of as the entire project, and that can be changed here. You can do per scene or per project. We're going to keep it per project because we want just one video. And then you have some more settings down below. We're not going to worry about doing that. You might not want this checked because what will happen is after your storyboard is exported to video, it'll open it up in your movie playing program on your computer and have it start playing. For this, we'll leave it. Something to note is when you click the export button, if you haven't exported a storyboard project out to a video format, it might ask you to install the Kodak for the H.264. Go ahead and install that. And we'll click export. And depending on your computer and the size of your project, this might take a little bit. So you should plan appropriately so that you have enough time to export it and upload it to the desired location. Here's Bob. Come on, boy, where are you hiding? And we can see our storyboard has been exported. I've looked every we can click OK here and we can close out of this. And now that our video has exported, we can go ahead and put that file, which is now our exports, and we can upload that to Google Classroom.